What is good everyone, it's ZigZag here. Welcome back to another GeoGuessr video. Good to have you along today and we are back on the road to number one in the world on GeoGuessr Jewel. So currently in the world, we're sitting at 91, which is really not too bad. Last episode was so good. We were this close to 1,400 and then we lost 31 points against a Smurf. So, okay here, first match against a 879 rated player. I see we've got an, an interesting unique bollard here, which looks like it's got Swedish colors on it. We've got white houses as well and brick houses. So I'd say this is like maximum south, right? I think that's often what you see like in this kind of like south region here. So yeah, it was down there. Nice. I've been learning a little bit of uh, Swedish stuff and that actually pays off very nicely on the first round there. So cannot complain in the slightest. Next one here, we have Australia. So hopefully we can make this a fast match. Looks like a uh, Perth kind of stuff to me. Yeah, definitely seems like Perth. He'll get it because the yellow sign posts. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess just like some kind of surf. Perth suburb here makes the most sense. Could this ever be another city? I don't think so. I think this just feels like too vast, too many suburbs, like too much of everything going on. So yeah, it should just be somewhere Perth. This is like typical Australia suburb where you got like the this like shops, like a small like center for shops and then yeah, and he goes Auckland there. So that is going to be almost a two round game. Um, he's still got a few HP left over here, but we have to feel pretty good about the start of this game. And this one, Cambodia maybe, maybe Brazil still. Uh, let's take a look around here. Yeah, I would say Cambodia, uh, in which case probably Western Cambodia somewhere. So that's what I'm I'm feeling like here. Some kind of a, I don't know, the, the uh, it's interesting. Oh, it is Brazil, really? Okay, I, j I just uh, went a bit too quickly there. Fortunately, that's no Maltese. Um, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to go put the pressure on because um, we had such an advantage here and that's pretty bad. So <laughs> um, yeah, it was interesting. We couldn't see any Google car, which you normally can always see in, in in Brazil. Uh, next one we have a Swedish, I mean, uh, like a Polish uh, currency there. So somewhere down here near Zakopane where I stayed when I was there. Um, that area feels really good, doesn't it? But it could be some more Silesia stuff. So maybe I should try that. I feel I feel like that's the best way we knock him out if it's over there, even though I'd probably like say south of Krakow is more likely. So, I mean, yeah, I just want to like try something here to get the knockout damage if we can. Um, it is generation four. If I knew it was gen four, I'd probably would have gone back down here, but obviously it's probably everywhere. It's just my thought. And yeah, it was just south of Krakow there. Almost enough though. I think it is enough to knock him out. Um, yeah, 380. So there we go. That's a first match with uh, really good guesses and really bad ones. Um, and uh, we only get two points to show for it, but that's okay. As long as we didn't lose, then we are fine. Particularly happy with that Sweden guess, I must say. But the next one here is a 1.1k rated player, so we can gain up to like six, seven, eight points here, so that will be good. First round's in Puerto Rico. And uh, yeah, I guess we just go quickly here in case he doesn't recognize it. San Juan, feeling good. Um, and we have interesting pole paint here. I wonder if uh, regional pole paints are actually something for uh, Puerto Rico. I wouldn't be surprised, but uh, that's something that uh, maybe one of you guys can go investigate because I am not going to do that while I'm working full time. <laughs> but next uh, round here feels maybe Chilean. Hmm. Or completely different. Maybe it's like Jordan or something. Uh, we have a black Google car here, so it should be Jordan. Um, yeah, we have Arabic. It feels quite a bit further south, um, but I'm not really sure where because I'm not the best at Jordan, I must say. Is it, it is the divided highway and it is kind of like east to west kind of stuff here. So I don't know, I'll just go in like near Karak here, I think makes the most sense. And it was actually M a Wadi Musa area. So yeah, that makes, I, actually it is just the 15 there, but at an angle where it like goes east to west. I didn't realize that existed down there, but I guess it makes sense. No, normally 15, just north to south like that. This is going to be somewhere in Portugal, I believe. Yeah, we have lots of eucalypts, so thinking North Portugal for the region guess here. Could even be Spain. Um, we don't actually see anything too much here, but I'll just go on the border. Um, now, looking at this poll, maybe it actually feels more Spanish. I could see it. I could see it, honestly. It's probably Spain. Um, I don't know why I immediately looked at it and thought Portugal, but it's definitely that area, so we really don't have to be too stressed either way. And it was, yeah, just over the border there. That's It, it, it just looked super Portugal, so that's why I went for it, I think. But yeah, anyway, it's good damage there, um, so at least making the uh, first rounds count here. That says Yuk, so I assume Yucatan here, um, and that's what I'll go for here. Now, that is the type of street sign that I feel like I may have seen in Merida before, Merida, um, but uh, it would make sense because this feels like a big city and it definitely feels Yucatan, so I like it a lot. If not, I mean, it probably says, if it's not there, then it probably actually says the proper just, like city name on here, um, which hopefully he can't find. But uh, let's see if he actually did a bit of reading and he didn't, and it was in this city over here. So it's not going to be enough to knock him out, I think, unfortunately. Uh, if we had a 5k, it still wouldn't have been quite enough because he did get Mexico. 
And we have the healing round now. It definitely looks like a harder round, which is good. Um, and I will go, I don't know where this is, but we, it's probably like Israel or something, right? But uh, yeah, we don't need to re like retain any points here. So that's fine. Not Israel at all. Is it then Korea? Ever Korea here? That looks like a Korean truck. Oh, okay, Bermuda. He 5 k so that's good for him. I did not get the vibe. That was an Asian truck. I don't know. I was all, all over the place. I was using like the brown sign for Israel. Wasn't that. Then I looked at the truck, Korean truck. I was just in Bermuda instead. Okay. Next one here, long antenna white car. Thought of like a Romania. Thought of like Czechia. Micro Czechia here. I think I'll just go Czechia. Um, ooh, France. What about France then? Um, maybe France is best here. Cannot lie. I think France is actually making more sense here. The, the single line in the center is definitely strange, but I guess I'll just hedge in Eastern France. This is the type of round where actually moving is better, I think, because it is difficult. He can take off a lot of points. So yeah, I mean, this is interesting, this poll. I, I really don't know what I get off that. It could certainly be France, but I gotta like go for some signage here. Um, this direction looks kind of bad, honestly. It looks like it's just completely rural. Uh, the one thing I'd say about France is we don't have any of the blue stickers on the poles. Here's Gen 4 here. Gen 4 with an antenna that's tilted. Kind of strange. Cannot lie. I, I don't know where this is. Um, was oh, that a bollard? Hello. I think we should definitely go back and look at that. It's a Czechoslovak bollard here. And so I guess even Slovakia is not out of the question. I mean, the wooden poles are strange as here, but yeah, I guess we'll just kind of go here. I think Eastern Czechia, uh, Czechia here is best, but he's, he's made his guess. He probably found the same thing as we did in all honesty. So we'll just stop up here and see what we've got. And yeah, I don't really know. I'll just go for this kind of guess here. And it was Slovakia. I swear that's a repeat. I have massive deja vu on that like re region there. But uh, I mean, I did go nearby there in real life, but no, 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 no. I feel like a geo guess around I had there. Anyway, uh, double damage now. No more moving rounds for us. It is gonna be somewhere here near the downs on the R156. I think that's actually on, on his level of health. That's actually kind of worth taking a look for. 400s there. So let's see if we, well, we see the 100s. 100s out here. Yeah, so somewhere over this direction. And we had the 60s and the 70s. So where are the 50s then? Uh, yeah, somewhere around here. So that's that's what I'm going for. I think we're actually, uh, we actually definitely did a good job to check that out because, um, well, maybe he wouldn't have known the country, but he probably would because of the yellow outer dashes. So it's good to just put the pressure on um, when, you, when they aren't obvious clues, but this one we did have kind of more obvious clues. And uh, yeah, he manages to get it as well, but really can't complain because he would have taken off quite a few points if we hadn't have done that. So that's good for us. Next one here, Australia. Uh, 2.5 times damage driving left, could be New Zealand. Uh, looks almost New Zealand-like, doesn't it? We got the Kiwi flag there. Uh, and now, could it be Invercargill? That's my concern here. What does that say? Uh, I'm really worried about Invercargill here, just because it, it feels strange, you know? It's like very, hmm, what does that say? Ooh, I'd love to be able to make some of that out. We could actually lose the game here. Um, and I, I don't know, Osborne is something. Oh my gosh, guys. When we have like a... Hmm. Yeah, I want to kind of hedge this, honestly. Osborne, though. I've heard of that. I don't know, I'm hedging... Oh, there we go. South North Island. Such a baity region. We survived, though. That's all I wanted to do. I mean, clicking middle was always going to let us survive there, but... Yeah, I was really worried about something deep South Island, which could have really screwed us. But ultimately, like, is a new player really going to guess there? Probably not. This is difficult, I must say. Um, why am I not thinking of this? Yellow plate there. Is this small Hong Kong stuff? Um, security? Like, oh, what is this Starbucks? Hello? We're driving. Where's the steering wheel? Steering wheel seems to be on the left there. So right hand drive. It's going to be something like Philippines, I think, which is just really weird. Bagulo. Dot uh, PH. Okay. It was staring us in the face there the whole time. Bagulo. Is that that? Oh, Baguio. Yeah, yeah, it's that. Okay. Well, that is a difficult round. This was strange. The yellow plate fully throwing me. And then just, just, just weird. Like, urban Philippines can be tough because this is just vibes, you know? Like, I mean, like, the vibes aren't there, in my opinion, at least. So, drip damage there. That will be just enough. Good uh, win there for us to take. And we get six points. Yeah, so that's kind of on the lower end of what we can get from a Champion League player. But... In the context of the series, that's really good. Next one, we're against Giuseppe, who is 919 rated. Should be an interesting game here. We're starting off in the Americas with this. 
Uh, or are we? Yeah, we are. We're in we're in uh, somewhere in Colombia, and we should be east of Andes here. That's my vibe. And there's a lot of like overcast stuff there. I think I'll just go. And it was indeed east of Andes, a bit further north. Our opponent goes in Uruguay, seeing the black car, I guess. That's obviously great damage for us there, so cannot complain about the start. Even against a 900 rated player, there's still like three points on offer here, so it's really not bad. Next one here is like Impossible Trekker. I think we count this as indoors because we are under a shelter here. We can't really see too much, so this is a free move. Um, and I'll see what we get here. Okay, this is definitely one where moving would have been probably necessary anyway. Uh, so we have English. No drugs. Makes me want to say that's like Philippines again, huh? Guess I would just go there. Yeah, like everything feels good for Philippines with the amount of English. Another Google car here, by the way, which is kind of cool. You guys can see that. Um, I'm just going to go for it here. I don't think our opponent's too strong anyway. Oh, but yeah, look at that. We got like a, a Google car here um, parked up. So I wonder, they, they, they got out of the car here and they, they took the trekker off, which is kind of interesting. And they... Uh, go for a, a, a stroll, and that's in the exact same place. Who would have thought we would win two games in a row on the same city? Which I, I feel like that's never happened before in the series. Um, and there we go, that's two more points there. Really, it's just just trick chicken scraps that we get uh, for wins here. But this one's good, we're against Kia, so we can gain about seven points against them on this round, so that's good. If we win, left-hand drive here with a black car. No, no, not left-hand drive. Should be uh, Peru, and it's mixed vibes here. This is really mixed vibes. Like, it feels kind of north, but it feels kind of south, so I am going to go for middle. Um, and it's not necessarily guaranteed that he knows the country here either, so um, I think it's good that we kind of guess soon. Uh, maybe it is just Lima as well. Like, this kind of reminds me of this area and of this area, probably more south slightly, but it is north, so that's good. That's why we kind of click middle there. Opponent does the same thing, and uh, yeah, we we, uh, we went for the capital city hedge, which... As, as, as we saw in last video, it definitely paid off for me a lot of times. Next one here is going to be somewhere in Jordan. Jordanian vibes here for sure. Like, interesting dry hills. So, people have this theory. People have this conspiracy theory that Jules keeps on picking places in the same region. And so, I'm going to use that logic here and say this is going to be Wadi Musa again. And if it's there, then that's extremely sus. But let's see. And, uh, okay, we're also kind of down that region. Uh, so, I guess it's not as bad as it, <laughs> it could have been. Um, but uh, kind of an interesting round there in the sense that... Um, in the sense that we did already have some rounds in that region so far. So we've got to keep an eye out for this kind of repeated region where the world map purportedly gets updated, um, if you guys understand what I'm saying. But anyway, next one here gives me, like, Estonian vibes, um, in which case it would probably be Tallinn. Um, and I don't really see, like, okay, Turku. That is not in Ta near Tallinn, but instead in the great country of uh, Finland here. So yeah, we 5k that. Um, sometimes reading is definitely necessary. I probably, like Tallinn would have been a fine guess because it's actually nearby, but it was very like wealthy looking for Estonia, I guess. Um, it makes more sense for Finland. Is this far northeast, northwest Spain? Or northeast Spain, maybe? Or maybe France? I don't know. Yeah, maybe architecture more French here? What does this say? Yeah, French language, surely, unless it's one of those Spanish ones. That's looking good for France. Okay. Uh, in which case, I thought, like, with the hills and everything, maybe, like, this kind of area here near Colmar, Strasbourg stuff, I think that's pretty good. But the cobblestone stuff could be more Pyrenees, so I think I do hedge more so a bit further south here. That's that's probably best here. And it was actually Belgium? Really? Okay. I mean, it was like a very Belgian pole. They have these square ones with the dots in them very commonly there, but... I, did, I thought it was too hilly for Belgium for sure, so that's kind of interesting. And also, wasn't like the font on the sign French? Anyway, no time to worry about that too much. This should be somewhere in Johor. Yeah, we have the yellow street sign anyway, but I knew it from the black sticker. It says Tel TNB, and our opponent gets it, being a good old Jules player, Kia. Um, should be getting that. It was the healing round anyway, so that's fine. Okay, so moving on to the real Jewel, and we have some Czechoslovak action here. So the question is, which country is better? And I would say it feels more Czech to me, maybe. Um, do we have the black top? We have the black top on the signpost. So, yeah, Czechia feeling good here. I'm going to click middle because I'm not sure where in the country it will be. He'll probably go Slovakia. Um, I mean, uh, like on the border is what I meant to say. Um, but, hey, works out nicely for us there. The middle click. Because um, I could have easily seen that being west of Prague. But I just kind of wanted to go with a similar guess to what I thought he would do. I was wrong. Um, okay, next one here, north. I was going to say North Thailand, it's actually Mexico though. 
Uh, those two places do give me trouble sometimes. This is very dry. I want to say it's like Oaxaca, but I don't know if you get those massive, uh, hmm, what's that plate? Bit of green on the top. We'll try and remember that for next time, but yeah, maybe it's like far west Oaxaca here works best, I think. It can also be like this, like Jalisco kind of stuff as well. It can be Durango stuff, which I'm kind of scared of, but it's only two times, so I'll put the pressure on here. He might still not know the country, which would be ideal. Um, I mean, yeah, Oaxaca should feel best. I'm worried about those big cacti, which are more like a, maybe like this kind of area up here, like Sonora, Sinaloa, Durango kind of stuff, maybe. Um, and it was just Jalisco instead, Mexico, Mexico City, yes. I mean, not too different to what we did anyway, so just 600 points there. He's back in the lead now. He's playing well, I must say, but we haven't had rounds that I would say I'm terrific at, so that's also good to be considered. This is South Africa, and the question is where? It's a bit confusing to me, I must say. Generation 3, huh? Like, okay. Very, like, orange soil. Uh, I want to say this is, like, northwest state, yeah. Um... But I don't want to go too far out here. I think I feel like just a kind of a Klepsdorp guess here is maybe in order. Could be fur much further west, like Viborg. Could also be this side, or just Hauteng, or just like Velkom, Velkom or something, or up here as well. So actually, it could be Polokwane area. So this is a very difficult round, in my opinion, with a lot of possibilities. I actually kind of prefer this now that I've looked around a bit more. Uh, it was just, yeah, a little bit further north, just Pretoria there. Uh, again, making the same guesses, just going to be 298 points. So. Ooh, a little bit stressful here. The the multis are going up. We still have our moving, which is good. And this is where um Madagascar came to mind, I guess. These guys. They are African. Is this Hmm. I guess Madagascar, right? I feel like you I feel like moving doesn't actually advantage us too much here. Uh so yeah, I guess Madagascar's best, right? I, d I don't really know though. It's a bit scary. It's a bit scary. To we probably lose on this round if we're wrong. Other place I thought of was like Mount Elgon stuff, like uh, like on the border between Kenya and Uganda. But surely the mountains aren't quite that vast. Now that I look at it, it could be there. Oh, I think I would. I think I would switch to there now. This is very scary. I think the people probably look more that direction as well. We might lose the jewel here. And it was actually Madagascar. Goodness me. Thank goodness I didn't think a bit more about that because I would have gone wrong. And he actually got Madagascar as well. So that is definitely a trekker to be worth re to to be uh, remembered because that was pretty epic and memorable, memorable kind of landscape, I think. Here we are on the way and we probably should move for that sign, I guess. I think we should here. So we're on the way on the 180 to some of these places. Uh, I, you guys know I don't really know town names, but uh, the 180 is here. Um, and that's one of the places. And the other one is where? Um, maybe it's smaller. Might just guess there. So that's to our kind of west for sure. Um, and the other one's ret ret Returnal. Zoom out again, just in case it's kind of bigger. I don't really see it though. Um, so yeah, I guess, I kind of guess we just go here, because he may not have found it yet, it is possible, so I think that's probably a good idea to go. Um, it, it sucks to have to move on around with a sign, but ultimately you don't want to get caught out, um, guessing really far away, so I feel like this is the right decision. Um, Returno, I don't know where it is, but hey, we basically 5k'd, and, uh, he must not have, I don't understand how he didn't get that, if he, maybe he was playing no moving as well, or, I don't, I don't really know, because he should have crossed the sign and, uh, crossed the road, and seen that it said Mexico on the, uh, place names stuff, so, kind of interesting, but we, uh, have moved up quite significantly on this episode, we've actually got a bunch of nice opponents, so, uh, that puts us now almost in the top 50, um, definitely enjoying how this one's going. Okay, next opponent here is highly rated, I like the way this is looking, but the first round is difficult, so we can't fumble the bag here, we might have to insta guess let's see what's going on okay that is the christmas island car um he may forget momentarily so obviously we just go straight away on this occasion he does not forget just one point of damage there starting off uh the jewel just fine okay next one here bhutan kind of vibes i would say um and uh, yeah should be bhutan here capital or south almost feels a bit south to me um 
but I'll just kind of hedge between the two, I think, because there's so little points to be lost here, and he's definitely getting the country, so it's fine. And it was actually all the way east there, near Trashy Gang, which is my, uh, Perhaps, uh, perhaps my favorite um, city name in the world, but only a total of 21 points exchanged in this entire duel so far, so kind of funny. Next one here, maybe Spain, France, France feeling good here, I would say, architecturally speaking, also pretty good. Very hilly, um, black roofs almost making me want to go a bit like more northwest, but the red soil is a bit confusing to me here. Yeah, I feel like this is almost like a middle click round, but I, I, I'll slightly go, I'll slightly go west here, but it's so healy. No, I make, I click middle here, I do it. Oh man, it was Lux there. Okay, he must have found some yellow plates immediately. Um, I wonder what I missed there. Fortunately, we didn't decide to go northwest, uh, because Lux also has black roofs everywhere, so the, the roof meta is a bit dubious, or at least you need to know how to use it. This one is going to be somewhere in Poland. We just go, I think we just go here. Yeah. Um, kind of gives me more north, more of a north vibe, but really it's hard to say on a round like this. And it was just near Wuj and Vashava there, so yep, yeah, it is going to be a little bit of damage, but nothing too crazy. Um, heading through to the healing round, we need it more than he does, so we'll just try and see if it's anything interesting. But it should just be kind of a fairly standard uh, Finland here, I imagine. Do we see any language there? Yeah, no. Nah. It's, uh, it's fairly standard Finland in my opinion, so we just go here. And hopefully he guesses quickly as well. And it's going to be full healing for us, actually, is it? Yeah, just about full healing. So, um, heading into round number six here. Um, if we win this duel, it's going to be huge for us. But obviously, it's not going to be an easy task. This should be somewhere in Vientiane. We don't have Vien... Like, we do have, actually, Chinese as well. Um, but yeah, it says Vientiane as well. Um, I hope he gets thrown off and doesn't quite notice that we actually have the, uh, Laotian language there. He does not, um, which is hardly surprising for a player of his rating. And again, the, uh, the points have been very slow in this duel, which I don't think is good for us. Honestly, it's much better when, when the points are fast. <laughs> but okay, next one here should be somewhere in South Africa. Very white soil, um, is confusing me a bit here. Like... I almost considered Australia here. It is South Africa, so we should guess quickly just in case he doesn't know. But yeah, where is this? Okay, we actually we actually do great there. He guesses closer to Eswatini. That's a really good guess, honestly, because that's not an easy round. So that's making me feel a lot better about this duel. Now we're on to 2.5 times damage. And yes, this is looking gettable. Um, is this Lima? I think this is Lima. White Google Cart, it's it's almost essential to move here just in case it is somewhere else. Um could be uh Bolivia or something. So yeah, I think I think we really have to move here and let's just go till we find like some kind of specific clue because okay, we can check the number plates here. They almost appear to be Bolivian number plates, no? No, oh, it's a, it's a taxi number plate though. Sheesh bro, is it La Paz? Check out this number plate. Yeah, I think it should be La Paz then which is really kind of scary because I would have gone Lima there. So moving probably worth it, I would say. Yeah, I think so, because I, I, I could have managed to go La Paz there. I mean, Lima, but I, I mean, I could have managed to go La Paz, maybe, but Lima was my first thought. Okay, this is Misiones, I think. This is fantastic stuff. That was exactly what we wanted to see. Like, this is kind of the region, uh, kind of a region guess that's, that's good for, like, a more experienced player. He's proving himself to be good, though, I will say, um, definitely. And so... Uh, good damage, but we've used our moving, so we need to play flawless from here on in, really. We have some, uh, Switzerland, which is fairly generic, and the mountains are fairly big. I don't know, I got, like, the sense that this might be more on the French side, but I'll just go, like, south of Bern here. Should, I mean, this kind of hedge is fine. We are gonna survive well and truly, so let's just see what it ends up being. And it was north of Bern instead. Uh, his guess in Lucerne is also decent, so 42. Again, so many rounds here where we were, we were at the exact distance, um, exact oh, equidistant uh, from the location. Um, okay, next one here uh, should be Austria. I really do like um, like Vienna here, but I guess we can take a look quickly to see anything else. Yeah, this is Vienna, surely. So let's just get in here. I mean, there's not actually much going on in terms of the round, uh, but uh, he manages to 5k anyway, so... Uh, 100 points of damage, yeah. Again, nothing, just nothing happening, guys. And the multis stack up. We can't get anything too difficult here, but this is uh, Thailand, which is good. It feels kind of far west to me, but I can't really be too confident with it. I think this kind of guess here 
is more what we want to do. Just kind of like go for some chip here. It could even be north Thailand. Just we have no palms. And yeah, it is north there. That's unfortunate that I thought of it so late. Obviously huge damage here, 3.7k. Um, kind of a bad guess, but uh, you know, you're working with limited time. Next one here is five times damage. We are gonna be somewhere in long antenna with this architecture. Is this, hmm, okay, he guesses. I'm still kind of clueless with this brick building. I feel like it's baiting me. Long antenna, huh? Ooh, 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 get in here. Vineyards, huh? What the hell is it? I don't know. Oh my gosh, Italy, really? That house did not look Italian. So there goes the uh, wind streak. That's unfortunate. I mean, terrible seed. Such a terrible seed. Nothing good, nothing good, bro. But that last round, to be fair, was a good guess by him. Man, I feel like for anyone who's actually been to that location, that would be really easy. But uh, yeah, for, for some reason, like the, the, the brick house was just fully throwing me. I swear, I, it was actually probably painted. It wasn't brick, but it looked brick and it just completely like screwed me up. Okay, so this one we shouldn't go Japan on. Um, it does did almost feel a bit Japanese. So be the last jewel of the video. I'm right, going to my grandma's birthday. Um, and uh, we really want to take a win here. This guy, actually, we can. I think Wesley, we've played before, no? Uh, definitely a familiar name. I think Wesley I lost to before, which is not good. I kind of thought, thought his guesses were strange, if I if I recall correctly, but hopefully it's not the same this time. I'm, I'm sure it's legit, but, you know, that did uh, ring a bell. Uh, this, I mean, like somewhere near Durban is surely good here. Could be, you know, up to Amelo, down to uh, like even East London, but this is the right region, surely. Uh, we'll see if he gets it as well. And uh, we should be we should be good to go here. So where is that actually? Actually, we get quite a good guess, but his guess is also quite decent as well. So just a little bit of damage so far. I want to like hard rounds early and and, and 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 easy rounds late. I think that's kind of like the really really what we're after. This should be somewhere in in Bulgaria. I thought, yeah, it will be Bulgaria. So we'll go quickly here in case he thinks it's Russia or something. Middle click is fine. Could be closer to Sofia, I guess, just because it's world map, but I don't mind middle click here at all. And it was actually just in Sylvan. He goes for Sofia, so yeah, I mean, these would have been good rounds for later on, where we've been significantly closer on big, biggish countries, but they have not been, you know, multi rounds at all. We have black car here. This is interesting. Very red soil, like pinkish soil, would lead one to guess like somewhere out here. Um, he might not know on Generation 3, uh, Kenya, which obviously has been gone from the game for quite a while now. That is the silver car, interestingly. Um, yeah, I don't know, like Kitui is like famous for that soil, so I feel like I do have to kind of guess there. And it was actually a bit further southwest there, or southeast, so yeah, I mean, like Nairobi guess is always kind of a decent option when, when it is coming to something in uh, Kenya. Is this Lebanon? Kind of looks like Lebanon to me. We don't need any healing though, so I mean, I would just go in the uh, Mediterranean here. Now, uh, taking a look around, it's not Lebanon at all, because we're in Google car coverage, and it is Greece, I think, so probably Athens, in which case, because it feels like a big city. Um, I thought Beirut, and uh, Athens is, you know, similarly sprawling and uh, impressive. So, he actually goes for Thessaloniki, interestingly, but uh, to be honest, he didn't really need to guess uh, the region, he only needed to get the country to get full points, so we head through to the actual game now. 1.5 times damage, here we go in... Uh, Sweden is it? I thought Sweden. Now, we don't have an antenna, which is very strange. Um, and we do have these bollards, which, yeah, I mean, I mean, it should be Sweden, but that's, what's that blue sign, though? Hmm. I mean, ooh, and we are driving right. I mean, that is interesting. The whole round is interesting to me here. I hope he didn't find anything, but I think, like, the red side of the road, this should be Sweden. Um, no, I'm just going to hedge south and, and east in case it's something completely different. And it was actually Estonia there. That makes sense. Actually, rumble strips like that are quite common in the Baltic. So that's 2k damage. Nothing huge. I mean, still not ideal. Terrible guess. Um, but those bollards felt really strange. They were like taller than normal, I think. This is surely Reykjavik. Uh, maybe northern suburbs or something. We'll just go for it uh, and see. 
what's up here. Um, but yeah, it should just be the case that we're there. Um, let's take a look around here. Very like overcast and like big kind of glacial stuff here. So maybe we're wrong. It was that city indeed, the second biggest city. Uh, he goes for the same guess as us though, so that's fine. Um, let's see what we got going happening on the next round here. 2.5 times damage on something in Israel. Big kind of ridge-ish stuff here. Feels north to me. I was just kind of clicking around Israel today, so I would say this is this kind of region here, but we could be totally wrong, I guess. It could be south as well. Uh, and we were indeed there, just past Haifa, so that's good. He goes Jerusalem. Gonna be nice damage for us. 8 898. Cannot complain. Still have our, our moving round in the bag here. Um, I just think about that Estonian. We had an Estonian house. Shouldn't have gotten that wrong. And the next one here should be somewhere near... Um, just uh, just Montevideo here. I got strong vibes here. Could could be Buenos Aires as well. Really like Montevideo, so going quickly here I feel like is a great idea. And hoping that he doesn't also have the same vibe, but he will go. He will guess the same as me. I'm fairly confident. If he goes Uruguay, then you can really only go uh, in uh, Montevideo. Let's see if he does. And it was actually in the next city on the on the south coast. But again, it's good damage for us there. 1.4k. Bring it into the balance here. We're actually in the lead now, which is great. And we have some more country of Argentina, Uruguay stuff. Argentina this time. Uh, mountains east and bigger mountains west here. It definitely feels... Oh, wait, vineyards. I, I would say that you go... Do you have anything east in Mendoza? Do you have anything east in Mendoza? Not really. So maybe San Juan region, but... Yeah, or maybe a bit further south, actually. I, I feel like I have to... Like, Nequen doesn't have any of those mountains, but... I feel like you go Mendoza here. I feel like this really is best. I'm just confused about these east hills. Like, what is around there? I, I, I don't think there are any. So, I guess you click a bit further north then. But uh, wine regions, I don't know how long they extend. I just have to click Mendoza. Yeah, it was San Juan. Okay, we, we could have probably knocked him out with, with the guess in... With an extra 500 points. Yeah, we would have. Damn. Uh, but that's okay. Mendoza is still like a good region guess. Lots of vineyards around there. And now we just have to out hedge him a few times. And we still have our moving in the bag. So that is good. Um, this to me felt maybe a bit more eastern. But he's going to be... Ooh, the four striped bollards. I don't know. I know there's like regional stuff there that they put out in the Plunkett guides. I got to learn. I think I'll just click middle here, honestly. We, 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 we click middle and we hope that we get... The right side. Um, we could just knock him out here. It's only a little bit of damage that we need here. So hopefully he doesn't pull out a really nice guess, which he may, and he does. It is just south of Zurich there, so it's going to be a bit of damage. Um, and it's 500 points, so really not nothing. We could have moved, but Switzerland is too small to really be justified. When on a round you can't lose, you don't really move. I think. Um, this is almost looks Serbian. House is a bit strange. Slovakian, Czechian, Poles here. We're moving, obviously, to get, uh, like, something in the way of, like, a country clue. I think, like, Czechia is more likely here, but obviously uh, we want to get something um, in order to shore our way to the next round at least. Um, so, yeah, very generic. think I would prefer Czechia here based on the houses. Like, don't they feel kind of western? Um, and let's see what we've got. So, we are nearby to the city of... Okay, mate. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Let's see this. Um, oh my gosh. Where do we actually get to see the sign here? It's kind of bad. Um, let's go over back here and see. So we've got... Yeah, I mean, they're, they're just completely obscured, okay? So then, I mean, it is check signs. And we are so unlucky here. Though, of course, he won't be able to see them either. I think we click west of Prague, though. Somewhere here is most likely, in my opinion. Really hoping this isn't somewhere crazy, like it is a good guess from him again. So I wonder if he, I don't think he would have found anything. I think he just plonks in the middle and gets closer, which is unfortunate, but a fair play, of course. Here we go, five times damage. Um, I think this is Mexico City, if I had to say. Yeah, so I think that's where we go here. Let's place our marker down. Um, guess in a second, I just wanna make sure nothing feels too bad here. It's a bit strange, but those trees fill Mexico City, so I think we just have to click middle here. Could have clicked one side, but it feels like the city itself to me. So hopefully he gets a wrong vibe. Yeah, these trees are Mexico City trees. I wouldn't say it's anywhere else. Yeah, so if we click northern suburbs there, we do knock him out, I think. But ultimately, I don't know, I don't want to risk anything crazy there. So yeah, may maybe it was worth the risk. I don't know, 5.5 times damage here. This is maybe... What are we looking at here? North Spain? Or we do have an antenna then. 
Uh, Spain or France here? Maybe France, right? I don't know. We just have to go. We just go like that, guys. I don't know what this is. We'll see what he sees. And it is... Damn it, Spain. Oh, yeah. Like, I don't know. This, uh, this, the side of this looked more uh, French to me. Uh, but I guess it's still possible that we're closer if it's right here. But it's probably out here, if we're honest. And wow. He goes in Brazil. That is quite simply a lifesaver for us and, and for this episode, um, because we actually come out with five extra points there. So it's another episode where we stand still, unfortunately. Just one loss and all the rest wins seems to be how exactly how it goes. We're in 91, which is I think is exactly where we started off the video, but cannot complain about that. And guys, thank you very much for watching the video all the way at the end. Give it a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in a video very soon. Till next time, goodbye.